hurry up, come on, hurry up. The old people, the old familiar faces again. The little colorful restaurants I used to close up for health violations. The old beat, I can't wait. Take it easy, Leo. We're off to the old beat. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, where is your old beat? My old beat? Your old beat, where is it? I heard you, I heard you. My old beat. Schnauzer, you must remember where your old beat is. How could I forget it? Well, years, every day, five times a day, Sally and me patrol the beat. How could a man forget it? Well, where is it? Where is it? Leo, you got to remember. Wait a minute. Every morning, I went to the stable, saddled Sally. And then what? And then I said, giddy up, Sally. And where did you go? To my old beat. Leo, where was your old beat? Where Sally took me. <laughs> you mean your horse knew the beat and you didn't? Now look, don't start up that the horse was smarter than me. Remember, I'm the one who taught her to beat in the first place. <laughs> and I'm the one who wrote out all those traffic tickets. Oh, Sally was a smart horse, but she couldn't write a traffic ticket in a million years. Look, Leo, we can look up your old beat in the records. Oh, wait. That's all the headquarters has to find out. That'll finish me for good. Is that a man has been on a beat for 12 years and doesn't know what happened after he said giddy act. Well, we know your beat was in Midtown Manhattan. We'll go down to Midtown Manhattan, cruise around until you recognize it. 12 years, and I can't remember. <laughs> Yes, sir, Mr. Boyd. Her name is Sally. We bought her from the police department. Easy, Sally. These police horses are very well trained, sir. Very gentle. All right, let's go. Have a nice ride, Mr. Boyd. your old beat? We've been looking all over Manhattan. Wait a minute. Let's start from the beginning. The first place that Sally and me used to go to was to a garage to break up a floating crack. What did it look like? What did it look like? It looked like a garage. Come on. Yeah. Big fives in them. 30 to 20 you don't find. How about you? 30 20 over here. All right. Five's the number coming up. The big five. That's now doing Sally. Can't be Snowzer, he's off the beat. Oh, yeah, I know Sally's kick. Grab the money. No, wait. Whoa, whoa, Sally. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, uh, uh, well, what is it, mister? I don't know. I wanted to go to Central Park, but the horse brought me here. The horse brought you here? Yes. He said the horse brought him here. You know, it's an amazing thing. I tried to turn her, but... Where's she going? She comes, she goes. But now, as long as you're here, well, uh, don't mind if I do. Hey, your dice. Now, this is just a friendly little game between retired oil men. <laughs> Remember distinctly, it said garage. Forget about it. We've stopped at a hundred garages. What was the next stop that you and Sally made? Yeah, maybe that'll be easy to find. The second stop. The second stop. I remember. What was it? A cigar store. Oh, no. We always suspected it was a drop for the numbers racket. And Sally and me, we used to check on it on every round. Cigar stores, cigar stores. There must be a thousand cigar stores here in Manhattan. Was there anything to distinguish it from the others? Wait a minute. There was a sign. What did it say? Cigar store. <laughs> but long shot, I tell you, I can't get the numbers over to you. I know we thought we could operate when he took Schnauzer and Sally off the beat. But the place is jumping with patrol cars and cops. They're watching me, and they got all my runners spotted. I can't get the slip to you. I tell you. <laughs> oh, no. Schnauzer's back. <laughs> that 
That's right. That's what I said. Get Sally, but no schnauzer. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't your bookie joint schnauzer's next stop after me? Never mind. I think I found a runner. When she gets there, just look under the saddle. Three times the guy got so nervous he closed up and went home. Leo, after the cigar store, where else did you go in your round? Where else? From the cigar store, there was a guy with an ice cream cart who we suspected was the clearinghouse for the bookmaker. <laughs> Besides me. That's right. The minute you left that beat, some mastermind took over. Somebody who knew every nook and cranny of that beat. Every crime stop. Somebody who knew every nook and cranny. But we've got to stop this crime wave. Wait, wait. Consider it stopped. Stop? Just tell me one thing. Where's Sally? Sally? Oh, she was sold to some riding academy. Uh, the, uh, the Midtown Riding Academy. Come on, boys. <laughs> have another player being delivered. Welcome, friend. It's Schnauzer! <laughs> Bring her in, boy.
was how Schnauzer came into the precincts. He really got adjusted to people. Yes, but it took a lot of doing. He took turns riding patrol with every one of us. That's right. It took a lot of time, but we finally straightened him out. About how many years ago was that? I don't know. About how many years ago was that, fellas? There's a holdup in the Bronx, Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child, cruise ships do an idle wild. Car 54, where 